With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is the sum of the magnitudes of two forces acting at a point is 18. Okay. And the magnitude of the resultant is 12. Now, if the resultant is at 90 degree with the force of smaller magnitude, what are the magnitudes of forces? Okay, and these are the given options. So, what we are told that sum of magnitudes of two forces, let's say the first force is having magnitude F1. So, F1 and the second force is F2 vector. So, its magnitude is F2. So, this is given as 18. Okay. Now, let, let us say that F1 is greater than F2. Now, what we are told that the and the magnitude of the resultant is 12. So, we can say that magnitude of F1 vector plus F2 vector is nothing but 12 units. And if the resultant is 90 degree, let's say this one is the resultant, which is nothing but F1 vector plus F2 vector. This makes 90 degree with the force of smaller magnitude. Okay, so let's say this one is F2 vector. And let's say at some angle, this one is F1 vector. Let's say this one is F1 vector. Okay, then what are the magnitudes of forces? This thing we have to find out. Now, what I can say from here that since this, this one is perpendicular to this, okay, then this F2 vector can be relocalized to this particular position. Okay, so this, this will be F2 vector. Okay, this will be F2 vector. This one is F1, this one is F2 and this one is F1 plus F2. Okay, and this one is making right angled triangle. So, let's say this one is the triangle. Okay, and this one is, this side is having F2 magnitude. This one is having F1 magnitude and this one is having magnitude F1 of F1 vector plus F2 vector. Okay. Now, what I can say that since F1, F1 square plus F2 square will be equals to, sorry, not this one. What I can say that, that perpendicular square plus B square. So, this will be F2 square plus magnitude of F1 vector plus F2 vector whole square. Okay, this will be equals to whole square this will be equals to f1 square okay so if i put the respective values of f1 vector plus f2 vector so this will be equals to 12 square which is nothing but 144 this this will equals to f1 square okay and this f2 can be written as 18 minus f1 so this is 18 minus f1 whole square so from here i have to find out the value of f1 so but I can say that 18 whole square plus f1 square plus f1 square minus 2 f1, okay, which is nothing but 36 f1 plus 144 is nothing but f1 square. So from here, f1 square, f1 square will cancel out. Overall, I will be getting 36 f1 as 144 plus 18 square. Okay, now. We know that 18 square is nothing but 18 square is 324. So this will be this will equal to 144 plus 324 and this is equals to 36 F1. Okay. So from here I will be getting F1 as 144 plus 324, which is nothing but 468. So this will be 468 divided by 36. Divided by 36. So this comes out to be 13. Okay. Now if F1 equals to 13. Then since F1 plus F2 equals to 18, so F2 will become, F, F2 will come out to be 18 minus F1, which is nothing but 18 minus 13. Okay, 18 minus 13. So this will be 5. Okay, so F1 is 13 and F2 is 5. So 5 and 13 is the correct answer, which is option C and rest all options are incorrect. I hope you understood. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.